The redacted Mueller report could be out as early as Tuesday. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says she's not concerned about what's in the full report. They couldn't make a determination, which is basically Mueller's way legally of saying, we, don't, we can't find anything. We're going to leave that up to the process, which is the attorney general. He has made a decision. And so we consider this to be case closed. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction, which I don't know how you can interpret that any other way than total exoneration. Joining me now, Democratic Representative from Illinois, Congressman Mike Quigley on the House Intel Committee. With a welcome back to the broadcast, glad to see you. Uh, I'm curious your reaction to what you just heard from the press secretary. I'm assuming you don't really agree with everything she had to say in terms of that conclusive wording. Well, look, she knows as well as we do what the public record is and the extraordinary extent of collusion that took place and the extraordinary extent of obstruction that took place. I believe the special counsel is a person who follows the rules. And I believe he set a very high bar. Criminal conspiracies are very difficult to prove. And he felt, given the historical qualities of this, uh, he couldn't make a decision. But the fact that he would not exonerate, given that high bar, tells us that there must be significant information in his report involving obstruction. OK. So what's your expectation for what's going to be revealed? Granted, it's redacted, but what do you expect? As little as they possibly can. Uh, the attorney general was hired principally to do three things. Uh, exonerate the president, regardless of what's in the report. Uh, number two, uh, give as little of the report out as possible, uh, especially to the public and particularly to Congress. And finally, third, apparently, to uh, involve him himself in conspiracy theories. So I don't know exactly what we're going to see. I expect they'll try to minimize it as much as possible. Would, would, would that, I remind that mean, them that my committee gets would, classified, sensitive, top secret information every week, and we handle it appropriately. Would that mean, though, that you don't expect there to be something, again, in the redacted report that would jolt the president and the White House? It's not going to make the president look good. I don't think the public record makes him look good. They're talking about total exoneration when three of the people closest to the president are in jail or are going to jail. And the hmm. fact that there are multiple ongoing criminal investigations and, again, numerous accounts of obstruction and collusion, really, in a sense, conspiracy. The fact is, special counsel just couldn't get to the point where he thought he could meet the burden beyond a reasonable doubt. That is not at all to say that there wasn't cr crimes taking place. Let's get to um, Congressman Eric Swalwell's reaction after he was pressed on his suggestion that the president takes orders from Vladimir Putin. Here it is. And when I look at the evidence, I see that this person's family met with the Russians who offered dirt on Hillary Clinton. He was in a room where Roger Stone called him and said he was that WikiLeaks was acting on his behalf and releasing more dirt. He stood on a stage and told the press, Russia, if you're listening, keep hacking. And every time he was confronted about it, he lied and lied and lied. Do you agree with him? Oh, absolutely. He only had so much time to talk about this. Let's look at the bigger picture, the historical picture of this candidate and then this president using uh, President Putin's talking points from the beginning of the campaign. The historical quality of it is the architect of the new world order created after the Second World War uh, is the one attacking that new world order. And all the liberal democratic entities uh, belonging to the West, NATO, the EU, uh, the United Nations, uh, it's extraordinary. And we now know, of course, that the president lied about the fact that he continued pursuing a deal with the Russians where he needed their help or he would be enriched to move forward with Trump Tower Moscow. So uh, part of my interest in this report is where are the gaps? Was the special counsel focused on money laundering and whether or not the president was compromised? Uh, th that's fair game uh, for us to investigate further. Let's take a look at uh, Attorney General Barr's spy claim. We had Congressman Nadler earlier uh, offering his thoughts on, this, on the prospect. Here it is. The attorney general, when he started talking uh, completely without evidence, as he said, about spying on the, uh, on the, uh, 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 on, on the Trump campaign, uh, when, he, when what he meant was executing judicially ordered uh, warrants, uh, showed his, uh, his bias in the fact that he's really acting 
uh, as, as a personal agent of the president rather than as the attorney general of the United States in this matter. But, Congressman Quigley, isn't it possible that the attorney general is independently minded, a public servant, and he just knows more about the situation than anyone else? Is it really fair to just jump to the conclusion that he's no longer an impartial person before anyone's even read the redacted Mueller report? I think you have to go back to the fact he applied for this job by writing uh, a law analysis that the, uh, rule, the theory of law that would have to take place to find um, obstruction. So he was basically saying ahead of time, I don't think there can be obstruction in this kind of case. So absolutely, I think he's biased. And to inject himself in the conspiracy theories as wild as this, let's remember where that started. Uh, some Saturday, many, a couple years ago now, the President of the United States woke up, read something on Breitbart, and tweeted out that President Obama had uh, bugged the Trump Tower. No evidence ever came forth on that. And I suspect no evidence will ever come forth about spying on the campaign from Mr. Barr or anyone else uh, hell-bent on attaching themselves to this administration. Okay, let's take a turn now to Trump's taxes because Sarah Huckabee Sanders sounded yeah. off a bit on that this morning. Let's take a listen. The only reason that the Oversight Committee has the ability to request someone's taxes or for the purpose of determining policy, this is all about political partisanship. This is a dangerous, dangerous road. And frankly, Chris, I don't think Congress, particularly not this group of congressmen and women, are smart enough to look through the thousands of pages that I would assume that President Trump's taxes will be. Representative Quigley, do you think you're smart enough to understand the president's tax returns? Uh, I'm not an accountant, but I understand transparency and the fact that the American public has a right to know who's attempting to influence the president. There's a policy reason why presidents and presidential candidates have released their tax returns. This is a president who's quite suspect as to whether or not he was compromised. Uh, this is the most opaque, opaque administration in our lifetime. So uh, obviously they don't want people to see what's in there. The Republicans used this same law in 2015 to get tax, tax records of individuals. Uh, they're aware of this. And at this point in time, the public's, the president's uh, public pressuring of the uh, Treasury, of Mr. Mnuchin, and the IRS administrator, the commissioner, uh, not to release these records is e extremely troubling. The fact is, the law allows us to get tax records of any individuals. And the law says that Mr. Mnuchin doesn't make this decision. It's the uh, IRS commissioner. Mm -hmm. Illinois Democrat Mike Quigley, thank you so much for your time, sir. Have a good week. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.